this is Jeanette Keynes from Jewelry Arts Inc. This is part three of how to make a Roman planish chain out of 22 karat apricot gold. In this video, I'm gonna show you basically how to shape and how to hammer the links. Blast off! So my links are all nice and fused and I'm gonna show you how I stretch them. Now, I played around and figured out just the right spot on my pliers, as you see right here. So I marked my little upper and lower margin to make my life easier. Normally, whenever you're doing chain, you know, you kind of play around a little bit to find the right spot because um, although you're not a machine, you are trying to be as consistent as you can. Your chain will definitely look better. So my next step is to make sort of a bow tie looking thing, which I need to go get my other round nose pliers. One thing you want to remember about the links is you want to put your original seam somewhere on the sides, you know, in the middle of the link, because I'll show you, we're gonna stretch it around here and you wouldn't want the seam to be on the real exterior part. That's the part we're gonna hammer. Also, this is the time that you find out if your fusing worked or not, because it might snap open. Okay, so I'm gonna pop it on there. You see, I put it in my little margins and I just start to pull it apart. And then I take another pair of, of round nose pliers and I'm gonna squeeze like so, and like so. So you see that shape right there? And you see how the ends are like teardrop shapes. You're not trying to squeeze it so tight against here that it's like two circles with a bar in the middle. You want it to look like that, with that lovely little sort of teardrop shape. because that's a much prettier shape than if you squeeze the end real tight and just get like a sort of a barbell looking thing happening, which if you do, it's not the end of the world, but that's not what I like. So I'll show you how to do another one. So you can see it, I place it right in there. I start, start to pull this apart. And then I squeeze here and here. So in other words, I'm doing it right here. I'm not trying to do it like absolutely right next to the pliers. Okay, and then I can squeeze this a little bit more so that you get that cute little shape. You see what I mean? That's what you want. And another thing too, that I want you to watch out for, don't make the end shapes real, real big because in other words, if you end up with not enough of this length in the middle like this, what'll happen is eventually when you start to weave this chain, it won't move very well. So don't you don't wanna lose this proportion. It's really like about a third, a third, and a third, rather than the things on the end being really big and fat and that section in the middle being too short. So pay attention to that because if you do, you'll only realize much later that it's kind of problematic for weaving the chain. So I just want to show you how I hammer these for these Roman planish links. I've already stretched them, you see, with the little teardrop shape on both sides. Um, for the hammering, I do it right up on a steel block, and I'm going to use a very small planishing hammer, nothing too poofy, and nice and highly polished because this is not something you want to do with a great big hammer because these links are tiny and dainty. And although normally you don't want to have your fingers on the hammering surface. In this case, you do, because you kind of want to, I usually put my fingernail or my finger right on there just to kind of hold it in place. And then, you kind of hammer it out to a pretty little fan shape, just like that. You're not trying to compress it like an enormous amount, you know, and spread it out so that it's too thin. And I'll do, uh, you know, a couple of them so you can just see me do it. But this is pretty much all I do. I just hold it down. See that? I'm looking for that nice little like fan shape. It is, there it is. Um, and basically then after I do that, I throw it on my very fancy paper plate. Uh, I mean, I don't know how anybody does chain without paper plates to hold all their links. And then I'm gonna bend them in half and I'll show you guys that too. So here they are hammered. See, they have the cute little fan shape on the end. So then 
Basically, my next step is I'm gonna take my round nose pliers and I'm gonna bend them end to end, just like this. Let me see, I take the tips of my round nose pliers, grab it right like that. And then I just use my thumb and my forefinger to kind of squeeze them together like that. You see what I mean? Kind of tip to tip, just like that. And I'll do one more so you can really see it. Like so. Bend it together like that. Okay, and then basically once I've done that to all of them, I'm gonna anneal them.